before we begin, oh, oh he's cool. I don't know if I can do that. I think, uh, <laughs> before we begin, my name is Chase and Marcos. I think everyone else knows me here. Um, I don't. But so, <laughs> I have my introduction. Hi, April. Hey, Alan. Hey, Mar Marianne. Thanks for joining us. Um, so yeah, so my history as a real estate agent is this is be my fifth year in real estate, four years in or four and a half years in Hawaii. Um, counting the days in Hawaii, I'm really excited to be here. Um, I did help launch our chapter in Portland, Maine. So that was fun to see. So basically today's meeting is going to be about what is KWIP, why it's important to you, why it's important to us, um, and really starting basically from ground zero. So I'm, thank you so much for being here. Um, I do want to identify that this is Keller Williams Young Professionals, and it is separate from YPN, and that is more on the local state level versus this is um, focusing on Keller Williams and our growth with the company. Cool. So what is KWIP? I know Steve can take this, but um, it is a community built specifically for agents under the age of 40. And I will share my own story about my experiences with that. Um, it really is a place for us to come together and have a kind of a feeling of belonging to a community and a group. And that's exactly what it is. It's one of the many communities Keller Williams has have created over the years being together. Um, for example, KW Military, KW Wells, um, and KW Lands are some to name. Um, and it really provides kind of a system that has been in place to fast track our careers. So helping us with networking with agents worldwide, there are 52 chapters in the world um, with thousands of other agents. And really helping you with training with classes and getting you ready you guys have going getting ready getting you ready for the future so why K kwyp um like i mentioned before it really is a place for us to grow not only as agents but as people ourselves um and developing our relationships with agents and really basically getting us ready because we're going to be the next generation to be the face of our market center, of being the face of Keller Williams. Can you imagine in five to 10 years, newer agents are going to come to you and ask for your help and ask where you started and you know sharing our own story. Any questions? Cool. That's what I like to hear. Um, <laughs> member benefit. So I did pass around a cheat sheet. Um, it kind of shows you the opportunities um, what you get from KW and, oh, thank you. And really the dollar value of the discounts you get, um, the trainings you receive. And um, in my opinion, it's basically priceless what you invest in yourself um, because it helps you grow and mature. And so, um, I, like I said, the member benefits, we do a lot of training and webinar series. So being an official Keller Williams Young Professional member, we have access to um, a database of trainings and we have a collaborative calendar with our national community of um, basically teaching ourselves through other success or other successful agents throughout the world. Um, I think the next one, yeah. So the next one is our digital library and collaborative calendar. And here in our local chapter, I'm going to be sharing a lot of that with our market center because I want to show the what our show the value in it. And I want us to grow. And the more we become successful, I want people to start questioning of what's going on over there. You know, that core group of people is being um, is successful, you know, what's going on there. And a lot of, you know, a lot of our success comes from experience. So um, when you're writing your first deal, that's something that we would go over writing your, our, going over negotiations, going over bulletproofing your transaction. So everything the market center does, we're going to do it on a, on a more personal level with our KWIP group here. So for those of you who are going to family reunion who are eligible to be a part of Keller Williams Young Professionals, reach out to me when you get there. I'd love to introduce you to the other KWIP agents. 
Um, a few of the exclusive events that we get to be a part of is KWIP Advance, where we have our own panelists of successful agents. Um, Mega Camp, which is another conference in Austin, Texas in, I think, August. And um, just getting to know other KW executives. So um, I'll go over a lot of my own benefits that I received later on. Um, but those are just some of the few KWIP exclusive events when you're a member. Um, other, another one is annual KWIP Summit, which I think is in Vermont, somewhere on the East Coast. And then um, a KWIP, um, I, for, I think it's like party in Las Vegas. So, it, so we do have a lot of, we do have a lot of fun um, on the side, but it's because when you are a tight knit group, you know, we have that kind of fun. But yeah, so those are just some photos of other members. So one thing I need to take advantage of, which I haven't, is um, we do get discounts in other trainings that KWYP or KW offers in general. So for those of you who know KW Maps, we do get a discount on that. And we do have KWYP members who are coaches. So it's really cool to see um, you know, your fellow friends being coaches for non-KWYP agents and KWYP agents. And um, I, I didn't put it up here, but a lot of them are actually panelists in KW, or in KW Family Reunion and having that support. So we're all gonna go there. And we, oh, we actually have a lounge at Family Reunion as well, specifically for agents for us to kind of wind down, share notes mm -hmm. and really make it a fun event. So the biggest one to me, um, for those of you who know my business, I prioritize networking. And so we have a official KWYP Facebook group and we communicate through Slack. Um, and I want to say it really depends on what's important to you and how you want to be productive with this membership, because there's just so many different pathways you can take, whether it's growing your business or growing your market share of growing in um, the leadership aspect of KW or of Keller Williams. So if you look at that KW opportunity map, you can see all the different kind of paths you can take to um, kind of grow your career, whether that's becoming a mega agent or going the um, path of uh, a part of the ALC or the um, chapter leader and being a part of the admin and leadership aspect or growing your business profit share. So those are the three different paths you can take. Okay. So referrals, another big one. Um, Randy and Kay will attest to this. I received um, three referrals just this morning. Um, two from Texas, one from California, not California, Colorado, um, all because of networking. And I, myself, Luckily, I am in a position where I want to share this with my other fellow KWIP members in Maui. And so being able to connect them with someone who specializes in Central and Kihei and um, Kapalua, being able to share that I have, um, we have grown a chapter here in Maui and have specialists all throughout the island. Here's when I talked about the different paths with KWIP. Um, you can kind of see their own growth opportunity map. We have um, of 767 um, agents. We, I'm not gonna go over everything, but um, a couple have become productivity coaches. Others have become maps coaches. Some have become market center brokers um, and others have become investors, regional directors and a regional operations manager. So I don't know about you, but when I first joined, I had no clue what that was, why that was important. And that's gonna be a huge reason why we get into KWYP is because we want to be knowledgeable about you know, why we're a part of Keller Williams Realty. So yeah, so membership pricing individually, it is 399 a year. You close one deal, you can cover five years worth of KWIP. And I can, I will promise you, and if it doesn't come from KWIP, I'll give you my own referral. You will get at least one referral for the entire year. Um, I know in my first year of joining KWIP in 2020, I got seven, which was amazing. And that was in Portland, Maine. Um, just this year, I think I received five of 
from January, February. And again, the people you know and who you network with is not going to be the same exact people I network with and get to know them because we are all unique and, and different ourselves. And I will help you with that. <clears throat> Does Antonio International cover that charge? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, let's let's go back to that. Um, so as a team, um, your rainmaker will will be paying um, if you're part of a team. You can bring this to your team. Your rainmaker can pay that three ninety nine a year, and then your membership fee will be. 199 a year. So that does help um, the cost of things. But it also is because, or you know, you also see that your rainmaker believes in the investment in you. So before I begin, any questions about what we went over? Make sure there's nothing on chat. You get kicked out when you're 40. <laughs> so by the time you turn 40, we would hope that you had gained what you needed from KWIP and, and take the next step further into the market center. So whether that's being a successful solo agent or growing a mega agent team, um, we would hope that you gained the value for not feeling that you're leaving the nest because you're getting kicked out, but because you can go off and do your own thing. Um, but OP, right? yeah. yeah, well, that could be another community. <laughs> but with the ones here, I know the people who are in this room um, really value not only KWYP and the Market Center, but value me and the chapter that I'm starting. So um, I want to be clear with those in this room. In order to be KWYP, you do have to be the, under the age of 40. Um, but we will include, <laughs> we will include, it's actually lost it right in it. <laughs> it's going to show up on your desk. If <laughs> um, but we're going to include everybody in KW Maui with all of our activities because I want everyone to be of value or to gain value through it. Um, another thing for those who can't be KWYP members, I do want to share that this is a great way for you to increase your profit share and increase giving back to the younger and newer agents. A lot of the newer agents are probably going to be a part of KWIP. Um, but it, from what I've seen, okay, this goes into story time, uh, but I'm gonna share two stories. So the first story is going to be um, for non-KWIP agents, it's a great way for you to um, find a way to grow your profit share. And so profit share is when you bring on an agent, you gain an investment. Um, and so if you're not able to connect with a younger person because maybe they can't handle Steve's jokes or it just goes right over there, uh, it's a great way for them, for you to introduce them to KWIP and other younger agents because they will feel a place of belonging. And that's my story. So starting real estate in Portland, Maine, it is demographically the um, oldest average age in the entire um, United States of America. I think it's at 56 or 58. So you can see, especially having a, what they call me a baby face, you know, everybody's always questioning my experience, questioning negotiation skills, questioning me as a licensed professional. And joining KWIP helped me see the success stories of other agents throughout the world, how they handled it, um, and really just jumpstarting my whole career of having to go through maybe five years of, um, of failure stories that others have gone through and really condensing that to my first year. Um, so I joined in 2020. I started my real estate career in 2018 or at the end of 2018. So my first year and being vulnerable, my first year, I think I closed two deals and it was a real hard time. And then joining, not saying if I owe it all to KWIP, but surrounding myself with those people. I went from two deals to 13, 13 to 22. And then in my last year, I've sold over 30 units and that's all by myself. And a lot of them have been through networking, sticking to the activities, learning their success and putting that into my own business. Um, and so why KWIP Maui? Um, it's really going to be, I want to, no, yeah. So it's going to be ran by the people in this room. It's going to be ran by our local community. So we don't have, we do answer to a higher call, but what we do in our chapter is going to be what we want to do. So our local community outreach, 
um, our support culture and accountability. If we see other agents who need help, we're going to, we're going to be the people who are going to help them. We're going to be the people who will be talking to um, at 8 p.m. at 10 p.m. who need help negotiating, who have, um, you know, gone through this. And I've, I know I've had my own conversations with some of those people in this room about what to do, what needs to be done, um, and my own experience. And I hope we can translate that into our, you know, success together. Um, and so training and leadership, I want to, I'm going to have kind of like a Q&A afterwards, but like I said, we're going to run this chapter ourselves. So um, we're going to see what we need as a chapter and really focus on that. So if it's um, money, if it's the cost of KWIP and joining, you know, we can talk about that and we can see what we can do. We can see how we can fundraise. We can look for donations. We can look for sponsorships. So I want this to be a place of you being able to speak of your concerns, your issues, um, you know, what's going on in our lives that can, that will be a barrier for us to be successful. And I want it to be a place where we can find that solution together. Um, this is something Jesse had created. I don't know if she's on here today, um, but I had a conversation with her, or sorry, Jess, Jess Weber. She was actually also part of KWIP as well. So she is fully devoted to helping you with your KWIP technology. So your command, your smart plans, um, and just KW tech related questions. So automated emails. I know, Jonathan, you were talking about that. You might not be a member of KWIP, but the fact that I'm going to kind of be a little non-humble, but the fact that I'm president and I want KW or I want KW Maui to be successful, I'm going to make sure that what we do here, we can put into your business. For Steve, um, you know, you're a solo agent. You're, you, one of our first conversations when I met you at the um, installation banquet was, you know, where can I start networking with other people? I'm not going to be hush hush about it. I'm going to make sure I can help you. So that type of community and that type of culture is exactly why we have KWYP and why I strongly believe in it. So hopefully, you know, the next meeting we have, it's full of other people because hopefully you see the value and you can translate that to them of why they should be in our next meeting as well. So yeah, so KWYP Maui, I'm going to be a broken record. We are running this chapter together. Um, so I would love any questions you guys have now. Yes. Does the YP network have a mission vision statement? They do. Um, and it, it really is, it's also aligned with our KW belief system. Um, but I can definitely send that out. Always good. I think RJ might be a little bit. Probably, did. but RJ oh, has sorry. helped a lot already. <laughs> so I you know, know we were talking about a certain club that he was watching on Edward Bach. Like, I know. <laughs> And it, it's probably like up there already, but I will definitely share that belief vision statement. Jason, can you hear me? Yes. What's your vision or goal as far as the timeline and how it will eventually roll it out? Yes. Yeah, so as far as timeline, this was really kind of important to me because I don't want to put a firm timeline. My focus right now, because we are so fresh, is the foundation of our group. Um, I don't have it up here, but basically our next steps is to find a core four. And so what that core four is, is a president, a vice president, a finance director, or director of finance, and a social chair. So that core four people is going to, I want to build a foundation of those members because that's what's going to continue this and not let it fall apart and so I'm not going to put a timeline on that until that is solid just because it, I've seen it I've seen chapters in the past fall apart easily because that wasn't yeah that they didn't have a solid foundation um but what I would love is to have that down by the end of March um, have them identified have them they go through our own KPE validations, what um, Keller Williams follows. And then what you guys don't know is every time a new chapter is founded, there is a launch party. 
So basically a launch party is put down by um, our own chapter. We have our panelists. It's a very educational um, event during the day. And then it's party at night. Um, and again, it's, we're young. We, have, we know we like to have fun. Um, but what's cool about that is KWYP is so strong together that other members and other presidents, other core fours, or just members in general will fly across the country just to come and show their support. Um, and that's exactly what I love about it. And that's, that's what I'm gonna be doing as well is um, attending other KWIP events. Yes. I'm gonna start calling on people, Layton. So what questions do you have? Um, <laughs> no, thank you. You want to see what was left? Okay. Uh, okay, perfect situation. How many people would you have two years from now? What would you like to see? It? What activities are you doing? Um, yes, great question. So Right now, we have about 60 eligible members in, this, in the county of Maui who could be KWIP members. Um, I don't have a specific ratio of percentage. What in two years, I would like to have at least 10 active members. So my core four, 10 active members, continuously having one event a month. So whether that's a class or someone else teaching us something, um, seminars from other top agents and um, from around the world to zoom in or come and visit. I want to put Maui on the map, not just for vacation, but a place of high producing young professional agents who will maybe, you know, one day. So Spencer has is working on a land deal. Send her out. Maybe she'll be um, an expert on, on lands. She can be teaching another class in somewhere in the US about you know her success as a land agent. Um, so that's my thing is putting Maui on the map for KWIP, letting them know that we have successful agents here and we are growing. So that would be another perfect scenario is we are routinely adding more members and not just from new agents or uh, or not just not from new agents but from other brokerages as well. You know, I want us to be rivaling with, um, actually we don't have a rival. So other younger professionals in other brokerages to see, you know, I'm seeing all of these, what is YP? Why do I keep hearing KWIP? Is that with RAM? It's like, no, we have a group of solid Keller Williams Young Professional Agents and we are kicking ass together. Um, and oh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I like that because you are right. Um, even just instead of not only having meetings here only, but on Zoom and stuff where you can invite other YP members from across the nation, that'll help with organization mission and then profit sharing for all the events you can invite other agents from other companies. Yeah, definitely. Like um that's that's kind of people's goals throughout the market centers. If you guys don't know, it's everybody wants to go. Randy go goes and coaches his or teaches his 411 class. There are other KWYP agents who have a niche that they go around to reach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the YP is a it, this is Keller Williams own community. Correct. But so you can't bring people from other brokerages into this one, the KWYP, or you can't. You can't. You can't. You oh so oh to be a part of KWYP. Yeah. So I, so that's I want to say that is the incentive. We want to have or that sorry, that I'm gonna take a step back. That's what I wanted to say was I want our success to speak for us. I don't want to be in two years, my perfect plan or my perfect vision is I'm not having to market KWIP. They're going to be, they're going to know what KWIP is and want to know more about it. Um, and so we're going to have, like I said, socials, we're going to have um, events and classes, and it's going to be open to not only all of KW Maui, but it's going to be open to other brokerages as well. And the incentive of, I want more of that. I want access to your trainings, your classes. How do I do that? You become a KW agent. Mm -hmm. Then you get KWIP, then you get one to one with Sasha's. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. And the other islands have it, are set up for it. Too. So, there is a um, official chapter on KWIP Honolulu. Um, I do go to their events. It's $70 to and $70 from daily. 
So I do go to their events. I've received three referrals from KWIP agents on Oahu. Um, and so um, let's see, I don't I don't think there's any conversation with KW Big Island or KW Hawaii yet, but there will be. I want to say two or three years. So it's fairly recent, like very recent. Um, and they won an award. I think it was 2020 that they won an award for the best launch party. So that's Daniel Ulu, um, Ashley, Alicia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Challenge accepted. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Time to steal it away. <laughs> now we <laughs> Rich, I don't believe we had the pleasure of meeting. Do you have any questions? Um, Phil. Phil, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> Phil. So, no, I don't, I don't have any questions. Honestly. Okay. Where do I sign up? Is the question. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So, kwyp.org. Yeah, so you would sign up through kwyp.org and then just talk to me and I can help you out and go through go through what onboarding looks like. Because Todd's going to help you. He's already told me. Yeah, right. I think Smith has a question. The chat. Oh. oh okay. Hey, Traston. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, I have a question. Once you get your core four, um, the commitment, is it like a every, is it a yearly thing? What commitment? That's the core. Like once you get like president, vice president, yeah. all that. Like, oh, like is like it something that is that every there? year? So yeah. That actually, that, like, it kicked out. So there's actually no um, timeline barrier. So it's basically, um, we're, we're kind of self-ran. Um, exactly how Keller Williams likes likes to do it. So we decide how recurring those chairs are. Um, some a lot of people just have a two year time, and if nobody steps up and they want to continue to run that seat, they can. Um, as far as commitments as well, that is up to the core four how often they want to how often they want to meet together. Um, you know what's important. So what I've seen is like monthly meetings to go over financials to go over memberships um so to answer your question there is no full commitment right now until we decide on one but when we do we are 100 percent committed thank you for thank you you always have like terms yeah yeah and we'll have terms so. have staggered, so you don't lose everybody I'd like not to, <laughs> but I have, I have seen it. Like just like an age away, like, you know, you, you don't have everybody's election start at the same time. People come in. So oh, they're staggered by yes, a year or so every other year. That is a great suggestion. Very so like a president, three years, VP, three years, and then the other two is like two and one. Yeah. Keep it you know, going. You have you want to do it or what? Yeah. Term, two year terms, the later the staggered. Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah, Brown does it that way. President elect and you know, so they're incoming, you know, who's incoming. There we go. That's why we need you guys here. We need the old lady. We need the experience. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no price on experience. So yeah. You guys gotta join this, especially like you're doing younger agents. There's this is like this company is all about community. I mean, this is how you can build an amazing business. I mean, I see Jason in action. I'm like blown away because he's out there. He doesn't wait for it to come happen to him. He's out there, which is true with any community, right? You only get the best out of it if you participate and take a leadership role. And that's how you people get to know you. So yeah, you guys are at the prime of your yeah. businesses right now. And now's the time to build a foundation just yeah. like Jason has. So yeah. I, you know, just show me that here is a big thing. Yeah. Here's your eight already. I know. Part of your four eight. Sorry, Jonathan, you're not. <laughs> and and yeah, and when I say core four, there are numerous amounts of other chairs available. Um, I think it's on the back side of 
you know, the benefits of president, VP, secretary, treasurer, um, membership the chair. chair. That would be yeah, oh, yeah, so if we, Wait. you know, we're trying to build our own pockets here. Is if we get someone that's under 40, you know, anytime I have someone and talk to Sasha, but we could probably also get them in contact with you also. Def definitely. So definitely. they can kind of be supported from both sides yeah. from day one. That's and we all know we can trust me not to coach them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can take you. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I'll tell you, if I could have done this when I was your guys' age, I regret going to work for corporate America. I really would have loved to have done this and be able to have started from that age and found you really have a bright future in front of you for being um, the entrepreneur spirit as you are. So take it and run with it. Millennials versus the Prince. I'm actually not a millennial. I think what we're Gen Z. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to start. Yeah, I got my license in 2007. Oh, I didn't go into real estate until 2015. Oh, okay. We just don't have this all back then. Yeah. Maybe it's just me too. I'm very bad. <laughs> And again, knowing my personality, I'm going to be your accountability partner moving forward. Kelsey knows that <laughs> I'll reach out to every single one of you, check on you guys, how you guys are doing. And I want to get that to, you know, a full, full launch chapter. Um, I haven't talked about this, so I don't know if I can I have permission of, with it. But going back to what I envisioned for the chapter is um, I know how rough real estate is, especially in Hawaii with inventory and getting people started. But I do want to try and invest in a, um, a referral or network where I'm able to bring in leads for our chapter so that we can support each other, um, whether it's a round robin or everybody gets a share of each lead and we all take them on. Um, you know, I want to, the, the main reason I'm doing this is to give back. You know, I see the value in KWIP and, you know, again, fortunately I'm in a place where I can, and I do want to get back to you guys in the market center. So cool. No, thanks Thank for having me. To that. <laughs> You can also have the merits to uh, be in that lead pool. And if you don't make it into meetings and all that, or you don't go to the volunteer thing. Oh, that's a good yes, idea. But you have to do something to maintain that. We will work on that for sure. Great. RJ, thank you so much. Great job. Great job. Thank you for those on Zoom for joining us. Way to go. Welcome. Way to go. Now, John, they could eat a candy. You guys are dying. I smoke. I do not believe that. I'm just a long time.